I have wanted meme merchandise related to 3D printing for three or four years now. I haven't been able to come across a way to do that, but today that's changing and I think this is a journey that you guys are going to want to see. So the way DTF printing works, particularly with the Ink Sonic, is that you print a layer of CMYK pigmented ink onto a clear film. While the ink is still wet, you essentially dust it with powdered TPU. And yes, I'm saying the same stuff that you would 3D print with. It's ground to a fine powder. Under heat, those particles melt together into a thin, clear adhesive film and it locks the pigments into place. When we press that film onto a fabric with a heat press, the melted TPU flows into the fibers and solidifies as it cools. All right, so I say all of that. I had to learn all of that, how this machine actually works, except I don't actually have a custom t-shirt design that I can actually press onto a t-shirt. So my thought is I'm gonna go over to Fiverr, I'm gonna order a five, a 10, a 25, and a $100 design. I'm gonna see what the differences are. So let's get after it. Okay, so the reason why I've chosen to use Fiverr is because I can very easily do a search for custom shirt. And uh, if I go over, I can see that there's starting from $10, starting from $25. I can very easily see the cost of the design. And the designs get down to $5. So the thought process in my head is if I choose a range of custom designs on Fiverr, some of them might not be good, but certainly one or two of them are gonna be usable. So for instance, we have this guy right here. He has a $10 offering. With that $10 offering, you get initial concept, you get see commercial use, so I can print that design onto a t-shirt and sell it. Then on the other hand, we have some people selling their designs for 50 to 100, $125 for a single t-shirt design. So because I've never made a channel merch, I don't really know what my requirements should be. I know I can make merch that's kind of 3D printed meme themed I can also make merch that has the print house branding and logos on it I'm kind of at a toss-up right now I don't know what I want however I'll say this because I don't have any merch I think I want something kind of more on par with my brand so that I can wear it out in public and kind of do some self advertising so while we wait for some responses from the artists over on Fiverr let's go over some of the business implications as to why a DTF machine just makes sense and of course there are some other reasons that don't involve business. The primary reason is that I'm a YouTuber and I want merchandise that I want to provide to you guys, except I don't want to pay an arm and a leg because I don't want to have to charge you an arm and a leg. As a small YouTuber, I don't have the ability to create merchandise at an affordable price because I'm not going to have a high volume of sales. But I want to be able to provide you guys with some cool merch. As well as me, I want to be able to wear some cool merch when I go out in public. This way I can do some self-advertising. But also, come on, who doesn't want to have some funny meme t-shirts about 3D printing? When you make your own t-shirts, the cost to you is about $3 a t-shirt. So I can print a t-shirt for a stupid, silly meme and then throw it away after one use. Or of course, just keep it forever. An interesting thing to be concerned with about Fiverr is this guy originally had his designs at $5 and now, two weeks later, $200. This guy has done a 40 times price increase. These are just potentially some things to be concerned with about Fiverr. Maybe the price that you pay for your Fiverr gig doesn't necessarily equate to what you get. And when you look at the portfolio of what the artist has created, you have no idea how much the customer so some of the process that you're seeing right now is what I went through to get the first official print to come off of the Ink Sonic machine that is going to be ironed onto a t-shirt. Believe me when I tell you that using a DTF machine is not very simple. I went through countless issues from testing this to trying that and it is just a steep learning curve. Inksonic provides a ton of very well documented product support from a super thick user manual to very well documented instructional videos. With all of that said, it is just like riding a bike. You have to sit on the seat and just go and you're probably gonna fall a few times. 
But finally, 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 the design that you see right now. This is the $10 design from our Fiverr user, Rahima. But guys, with all of those trials and tribulations, this is a final designed custom t-shirt. I am pretty freaking stoked. I am honestly shocked and stunned at the way this $10 design turned out. And if this is the $10 design, you guys really need to stick around to see what the $100 design looks like. So one thing that I kind of like about Fiverr and utilizing this platform is that when you hire a freelancer, you get access to kind of a message board where you and the freelancer can go back and forth and kind of discuss the assets and your thoughts and theories behind Two what you hours later. do. And in terms of hiring an artist, this artist and I, we went back and forth four times before we finally settled on a design that I like. And from the first, second, third, and fourth design, none of them have anything in common. All of the designs are just completely different. But you can see here that there was quite a bit of communication. It was just really hard for me to convey to this individual what I wanted on the design. But I think this might be some foreshadowing for the incredible amounts of trouble that I'm going to be going through with the $100 design as well. So this is the $25 design that's printing and it looks literally nothing like what I was expecting. I wanted some kind of graphical representation to fully encompass and harness my brand, but for some reason one design after the next was just utter chat GPT AI generated garbage. So we settled on just pure text typography. I think it looks pretty good, so let's get it off the printer, onto a shirt, and see how it actually looks. It is time to try on the $25 design. Hold up, wait a minute. This is what it looks like. I am very, very happy with how this turned out. So I paid this artist $100. And what do you know? We had trouble communicating the design that I wanted. Because, as you can see, the very first design that we received, it sparked something in my head. The super weird design on this 3D printer, the odd text that says future is here, some, something about all of this just didn't really line up. And then it hit me. This artist went to my YouTube channel and just straight up completely ripped this thumbnail for the Lot Max DT. Not only did he rip a thumbnail from my YouTube channel, it was one of the worst performing videos and printers I have ever reviewed. So now that I'm on the $100 design, I have finally learned how to communicate with these Fiverr artists. And the simple key step is that you need to bring them a detailed vision of what you're looking for. No vision equals no art. A lot of these artists have absolutely stunning portfolios posted to their account, but to be completely honest with you, you have no idea how many revisions it took to get from point A all the way to point B. And on top of that, you have no idea what vision the customer actually brought to the artist. So I am finally printing the $100 design and guys, it is absolutely mesmerizing watching the Ink Sonic Machine kind of bring it to life. The artwork is just absolutely incredible. And I don't know if this artist used any kind of AI to create the design, but it's so custom that even if you used AI as reference, it doesn't even matter. I cannot wait to get this design 
on a t-shirt. So I cannot believe that I'm about to say this, but what I'm about to cut off of the Ink Sonic machine is the film that contains the incredible $100 design. Okay, so it is time for the final reveal. Let's see if I can cut this thing just fine. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Okay, so this experiment uh, has kind of left me with some thoughts about Fiverr artists, and maybe that's because I've never used Fiverr artists before, but maybe in 2025, artists have the capability of AI at their fingertips and they're utilizing it too much. It seems like the quality might not be up to par for what it should be, but more importantly, maybe it's that they just can't read minds. So let's recap some things about the artists and the quality that I chose and that I received. The $5 artist used AI, the $10 artist used AI, the $25 artist used AI, and the $100 artist completely ripped off one of my designs. So I have no idea where that leaves me because I spent nearly $200 and off the bat, a lot of the quality that I received was pretty piss poor, but I will say um, most of these artists are really good. They're really um, drawn to creating what you desire and they will work with you, even if that means completely redesigning from scratch multiple iterations. All right, I have some final thoughts for you guys. So first one, if you want something truly custom, take your budget, jack it, double it, maybe even triple it. I thought that I might be able to get good custom artwork for 25 bucks. Absolutely not. This was $100. I had to quadruple my budget. So just take your budget and send it to the moon. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. And I know this is a little bit different from normal. The video probably won't perform very well, but if you're still here, please show the channel some love, leave some likes, comments, subscribe if you're not already, and hopefully I'll be back with another video that you guys will like in the future. I'll see you guys next one.